Uh, hello friends, I'm Dr. T, wishing you a great summer. Today I'm going to put my cardiology and the physiology hat and we're going to ask uh, three questions. Heart attack versus cardiac arrest. What's the difference? What to do in a heart attack and what to do in a cardiac arrest? A heart attack is a plumbing problem, a circulation problem. In the heart attack, one of the coronary arteries, the pipes that connects to the artery to the heart muscle is blocked stopping blood-rich oxygen and nutrients to that part of the heart. It is associated with symptoms, usually uh, chest pain, shortness of breath, palpitations, lightheadedness, sometimes profuse sweating, all associated with a sense of doom. The chest pain is usually in your precordium and radiates to your left shoulder, down your left arm, at times goes to your neck, your jaw, but could go to your right arm and right shoulder and even to your back. And here, remember, time is muscle. Uh, we need to get the emergency room as soon as possible to have a cardiology team take you to the cat lab and open the blockage to limit the damage. Here, in a heart attack, the patient is sick, but is conscious, he has a pulse, and is breathing. The heart is still pumping blood to the rest of the body and the brain. But a heart attack could lead to a cardiac arrest. So what to do if you suspect someone is having a heart attack? Well, if you were prescribed nitroglycerin before and you have it, you could put one tablet under your tongue times three. At 15 minutes, if you're still having pain, the pain persists, you need to call 911. Maybe helpful, take an aspirin as well. And what not to do? Unless you do not have access to an emergency medical services, do not drive to the emergency room. Get an ambulance. Uh, first of all, a heart attack could lead to a cardiac arrest. You will not be able to handle it. And even if it does not, the paramedics will start treating you in a way that you cannot do it. What is a cardiac arrest? Cardiac arrest is an electrical problem. Uh, you, we have an electrical malfunction that leads to chaotic electrical impulses in the uh, lower pumping chambers of the heart called the ventricles. The ventricles go into ventricular fibrillation and the heart quivers but cannot pump blood to the brain and the rest of the body. So the whole heart stops pumping and there is really a circulatory arrest. So the patient here is unconscious, is, has no pulse and is not breathing. And for every minute that the victim goes without CPR, the chance of survival goes down by about 10%. What to do if you witness a cardiac arrest? Call for help, call 911, start CPR to restore the circulation uh, till EMTs or somebody with an AED arrives. The only way to save the victim is to defibrillate the heart to a normal uh, rhythm. So familiarize yourself with the automatic external defibrillators when you are in uh, public places and now how to identify where they are. In conclusion, sudden cardiac death is not a heart attack. A heart attack, however, could lead to a cardiac arrest. And sudden cardiac death can even occur in normal hearts, uh, commercial cordis. Call 911, do not drive to the emergency room if, if you suspect someone is having a heart attack and get the AED if available in a cardiac arrest and defibrillate the patient. This is the only way to restore circulation. And remember, your health is too important to be delegated to others. Let's just take control. If you like this video, subscribe to my uh, channel. I publish these videos on the second and fourth Friday of this month. See you next video.